Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about classification of dyes. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So, what is dyeing? So, dyeing is a finishing process that provides lasting beauty to the textile fabrics by applying color. So, we have different fabrics, we wear clothes and everything are colorful. So, here we use the dye to make those things colorful and it also provides the lasting beauty. So, we will classify the dyes. So, first of all, there are of two types, mainly there are of two types. First one is the natural dye and second one is the synthetic dye. So natural dyes from the name itself you can understand that natural dyes are isolated from natural sources. These are isolated from natural sources and synthetic dyes are manufactured from organic molecules. Therefore they, they are synthetic dyes because we are creating those dyes synthetically or artificially from organic molecules. Now natural sources, from natural sources we get natural dyes. So there are three types of natural dyes. Vegetable dyes, animal dyes and mineral dyes. And there are different types of synthetic dyes. So, we will talk about direct dyes, basic dyes, acid dyes, modern dyes, sulfur dyes, bad dyes and reactive dyes. So, we will talk one by one. First is the vegetable dye that is the natural dye. So, it is made from plants. We get vegetable dyes from plants. Around 4000 years ago, Egyptians first used indigo dyes. This dye was collected from leaves and stems of a plant. So, indigo dye is the vegetable dye that was first used by Egyptians. One more example is there. Logo dyes give black color to cotton and silk fabrics. So this dye it gives black color to cotton and silk fabrics that is the logo dye and this dye is also collected from a plant. Next is animal dye. So it is also a natural dye. Cochineal dye is used to give red and orange color in wool and silk fabrics. So this is the dye that is the animal dye and it is used to give red color and orange color in wool and silk fabrics. This dye is collected from an insect. That's why it is animal dye because we collect these types of dyes from insect. And the example is here Caucus cacti. From Caucus cacti insect we get this coccineal dye. After killing the female insect. So we kill the female insects first and then we extract that dye. One more example is there that is Tyrian purple dye. Which gives purple color to the fabric. It is extracted from shellfish. So we extract this dye that is Tyrian purple dye. We extract them from shellfish and this dye gives purple color to the fabrics. Next is mineral dye that is also a natural dye. Example is iron buff. So it is a natural dye that is isolated from natural minerals. So from the name itself that is the mineral dye we can understand that these dyes are extracted from the minerals and it gives yellowish orange color to the fabric. So this iron buff it gives yellowish orange color to the fabrics. These three are natural dye. Then we will see the synthetic dye. 
so fast synthetic dye is direct dye so it is composed of amines and phenols it is cheap it could be easily applied and it yields bright color and the solubility is that is water soluble so this dye is direct dye is water soluble functions so it is used to dye cellulose materials such as cotton this dye is used to give color in cellulose materials like cotton it is widely used in paper industry so this direct dye is widely used in paper industry it is used for protein fibers such as silk and wool materials fastness that is light fastness is good wash fastness is poor that means what is fastness so if we if we wash our cloth or if we keep our cloth under the sun then also the color will remain as it is or the color will go away that is called fastness so the light fastness is good that means if we keep this uh, cloth that is colored by this direct dye and we if we keep that cloth under sun the light will not uh, the color will not go away the color will not be faded but the wash fastness is poor so after the washing the color may go example of direct dye is direct light blue direct light blue is a name of a dye that is direct dye so it gives blue color to the cloth next is basic dye so it is also known as cationic dye contains positive charge because cationic dye it contains cations that means positive charge solubility it is water insoluble so solubility of this dye is good in water with the presence of glycyl acetic acid so if we want to make the dye water soluble we have to use you have to add glycyl acetic acid then this dye will be soluble in water functions it gives bright shades of wool and silk fastness not fast to washing and sunlight example of this dye methylene blue it gives blue color to the cloth next is acid dye so it is also known as anionic dye it contains negative charge it contains negative charge or anion so this is just opposite to the basic dye and this is inexpensive solubility it is water soluble functions mainly used to dye wool not cotton fabrics so this acid dye is not used for cotton fabrics but it is used to dye the wool same are used as uh, sorry some are used as food colorant so some of them are used are uh, food colorants fastness fairly fast to light but not fast to washing alkali containing soap changes its color so if the materials which we have given color by using this acid dyes and if we wash those materials with alkali containing soap the color may go away the example of the acid dye is indian ink and congo red so indian ink gives blue color to the fabric and congo red gives red color to the fabric next is mordant or chrome dyes a mordant or dye fixative is a substance so it is basically a dye fixative it is used to set dyes on fabrics by forming a coordination complex with the dye which then attaches to the fabrics so in these cases the dye itself cannot attach to the fabric suppose this is the dye so it can give color but it cannot attach to the 
fabric suppose this is the fabric now here we need to add this this is the mordant or dye fixative so we need to add this mordant or dye fixative because this mordant can attach with the dye and this mordant can also attach with the fabric so that the dye is attached with the fabric here that's why we call it dye fixative solubility it is water soluble it is soluble in water function it is mainly used to dye wool fastness fast to washing and light example tannic acid tannic acid is an example of mordant next dye is sulfur dye so they are soluble they are insoluble in water they are insoluble in water they are soluble in water with the presence of caustic soda and sodium sulfide so the sulfur dye itself is insoluble in water but if we add caustic soda and sodium sulfide in water then the sulfur dye will be soluble in water functions used for cotton and linen so it can dye cotton and linen fastness fast to washing and light the example is here sulfur black sulfur black is the example it gives black color to the fabric next is wet dye so wet dye is resistant to light acids alkali and oxidizing bleaches solubility insoluble in water soluble in water with the presence of strong reducing agent such as hydrosulfide so this wet dye is generally insoluble in water but if if you want to make that dye soluble in water then you have to add strong reducing agent like hydrosulfide functions they are used for cotton linen and rayon example is indigo so earlier it was obtained from plants but currently it is produced synthetically so in the first slide we have seen that indigo was used by, for the first time by egyptians and they extracted indigo from the plants but currently we produce indigo synthetically or artificially because it has a high demand in market reactive dyes so solubility they are water soluble functions initially designed for cellulose fibers like cotton presently available for silk wool acrylics nylon and blends of these fab fibers so all of these fibers or fabrics are uh, dyed by these types of reactive dyes fastness show excellent fastness to washing and light example you can see remazol brilliant blue